Hi guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Kevin. Hi. How are you today? How was your day? Very good. I got, I got, I got a good day. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, relax. I'm working. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> Okay. Okay, guys, very good. Vicky, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you, Vicky? I'm tired. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yes. Don't mention it. All right, yes, me too. I just acabo de terminar la clase antes de las de ustedes, de seis a ocho, so it's long. It's a long hour. <laughs> Very good. But I'm here, Vicky. Very nice. Nice to see you. All right. So, Oscar, hello. Domingo, Roberto, Ana, and Claudia so far. Hello, teacher. Hi, Roberto. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's see. Hi, Ever. Jorjito's joining us. Very good. Thank you. Good evening, Ever. How are you? Very, very nice, teacher. Yes. Thank you. And you? I'm okay. I'm good. I'm just a little tired, but I'm okay. <laughs> very nice. Okay. Yeah, and it's, I think it's going to rain today. So it's cloudy and like windy. So maybe it will rain tonight. Isn't it raining by your house? Anybody's raining by their house? No? No. no yet, teacher. All right, but maybe, right? In some places. Okay, Claudita, ya vi su mensaje. Thank you. All right, very good, guys. Igual, los que pueden encender su cámara, por favor, turn it on so uh, I can see you guys and we can work this better. Acuérdense que igual es parte de sus requisitos de InSupport, so you need to turn on your cameras and be here with me. Very good. Ya lo veo, Kevin. Thank you. All right, and Rafael also. Okay, guys, so yesterday, let me just go ahead and hold on, guys. I just need to all right, so here. Yeah, we stopped yesterday on page 13, exercise four and five. Is that correct? Can you remember? Can you check? Exercise four or five, page 13, is that right? Yeah, teacher, yes. All right, so Mariano, I know you're there. Salvador, hi, Chamba, and yeah. Quien más entró? Nobody else. All right, very good, guys. So I'm gonna continue sharing my screen. Acuérdese que estábamos hablando del presente perfecto. All right, hi, teacher, hi, Mariano. All right, so that's what we are working on today. Let me see. Vamos a volver a revisar la 1, 2, 3, que fue la que nos quedamos ayer. But before that, le, démosle lectura al exercise 4 como repaso a lo que vimos ayer. All right, so Ever, please. Empecemos por acá, Ever. Esto, Ever, acá. Ok, teacher. The, the present perfect tense express action that were start sometime in the past at no specific moment. Continue. The action may or may not continue in the present. Okay. Use the helping verb have plus the past participle form of the verb that expresses the action. That expresses the action. Very good, Ever. Thank you. All right. Okay. So here, this is the same thing. Eso lo leyeron ayer en sus grupos. De hecho, se los mandé, los mandé a que lo leyeran. So I, hopefully you guys did. All right. So here it says the present perfect tense expresses actions that were 
that started. Ese verbo además ahí, that started sometime in the past at no specific moment. The action may or may not continue in the present. Use the helping verb. Cuando hablamos de helping verb, hablamos del auxiliar, es lo mismo. Hay unas teorías que le llaman auxiliary verb and the other ones, they call them helping verbs, but at the end, it's the same thing. So we have have or has, depending who we're talking about, plus the past participle of the verb that expresses the action. Kevin, hágame un favor, regáleme la lectura de esto que lo voy a subrayar ahorita, Kevin. Okay. Have you lost your mind? Is the questions and the answer? Uh, yes, I have and no, I haven't. Thank you. All right, Domingo, can you please read this one, Domingo? Hard day, I was sore ever, every day. Everything? Everything they offer mm -hmm. yes they have uh, no they have having or yes they had so ever been they offer mm -hmm. no they have no no they have they have having so everything they offer excellent domingo very nice thank you vanessa noemi can you please read this right here I think Van is frozen. Rafael, can you read? Yes, teacher. Has Alejandro created a new product line? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Or yes, he has created a new product line. No, he hasn't created a new product line. All right, very good. Thank you. Rafael, solo acuérdese la pronunciación de este verbo. Sería created, porque termina en su forma base en T, por lo tanto la pronunciación del ED es ED, created. Created. Excellent, very okay. nice. Thank you. Ok, hoy sí vamos a revisar con más calma these three, um, this exercise from number five, que ayer nos quedamos en el tres, pero íbamos así rápido because of the time. Ana, can you read number one for me, please, Ana? A lot of company have grown because of, of well throw new product lines. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me see here. Trini, can you read number two? New members of patrol lines have attract attracted excellent. new market segment excellent thank you trini very nice daniel can you do number three okay we have decided to expand on our products uh, no. la pronunciación de decide daniel we have decide. decided Ajá, por ahí lo dijeron. Decided. Decided, yes. Termina en. Decided. 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 Excellent. Thank you. Al final. That's yes. right. Yes. Vane, Noemi, can you do number four, Vane? No. Okay. Oh, sí, Vane. Ahí está. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Number four. Yes. Some companies have not succeeded. When Excellent. launching a new product because of their lack of knowledge about the target audience. Excellent, Vane. Very nice. Audience. Yes, thank you. Vicky, can you read number five? Maybe not. Maybe Vicky is not around. All right. Uh, Mariano, no sé si está por ahí. No. Um, Oscar, can you do number five? I'm sorry, I drive it now. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. All right. What about? Let's go. No sé. Nadie tiene su cámara encendida esta noche. 
All right, no nadie, solo algunos. Very nice. Vamos a ver quién más. Um, Walter, hi Walter, can you read number five for me, please? Hi, good night. Good evening. Hi. Number five, um, Walter, please. Have you ever bought any highly recognized product lines? Excellent, thank you. All right, and let me see. Ahora regresemos con los que están ahí. A ver, eh, Domingo, number six. Uh, had your company designed design it? Design, uh-huh. Uh, design a new product or service recently. Recently. Recently, okay. Uh -huh. Recently, very nice. Okay, excellent. So here, la número uno le tuvo que haber quedado have grown, con N al final. Number yes. two, have attracted. Number three, have decided. Number four, haven't succeeded. Number five, have bought. And number six, have designed. All right, ahora, do we understand? Aquí están hablando mucho desde la conversation. They were talking a lot about product line. Do you understand what a product line is? What is a product line? Who can explain it to me? What is a product line? Or you have no idea what a product line is? So product line teacher, I, I think it's uh, 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 a lot of, of products. Uh -huh. uh, different, different products. Is it will be is will sell sell by the company. Mm -hmm. That's a product line. Yes, Daniel. Thank yes, you. Yes. All right. Very good. So a product line refers to different products of the same company. For example, Lido. Lido is a company. Lido is a brand. All right. Lido has pan de caja. Lido has pan dulce. After, bueno, antes era cakes, all right? Luego fue el pan de caja, luego fue la repostería, luego fue uh, the cookies, all right? Todo eso es un product line, all right? Yes, that's a product line that we have out there in the market. Just like Lido, there are many other brands or many other companies that have created product lines, all right? Igual pensamos en Bimbo, all right? Bimbo has no cakes, but they have pan de caja, they have uh, donuts, they have toast, all right? That's a product line, okay? Entonces, con el ejercicio que vamos a hacer ahorita, no, ya casi lo vamos a hacer, no pueden pensar ni en Bimbo ni en Lido porque eso se lo dije yo, all right? So, sorry about that, guys. You cannot think about that one. I'm going to take the attendance right now. And then I'm going to tell you what the activity is going to be like. Just give me a second. Uh, let me just find the attendance. Hold on, guys. It's about here, I hope. Oh, no. Okay, there. All right. Uh, Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuela. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Thank you, Claudita. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Jorgito, I think he was driving. Por ahí estaba, no sé si es correcto. Um, Jose Roberto Martinez Bernabé. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carla Benacid Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Kevin Esteban Mejibar de Merino. Ah, perdón, Mejibar Merino. Sorry, el de Ayala arriba de su apellido, lo siento. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. 
All right. Um, Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Mariano. He was here, right? Verdad que entró Mariano hace un rato. Nobody saw him? Okay, I did. All right. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Vanessa Noemí Reyes. Thank you, thank you, Chamba. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Thank you. Uh, Mayra Roxana Hernández Flores. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Miss Mar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. All right. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. And we have Ana Maria Palacios Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Vanessa, ya la vi. Ya, ya, ya la puse aquí. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go back to the book just to see what the activity that we, that we have to do is about. It says number six, group work. Organize a short presentation about the characteristics of a product line. Choose a famous product line in your country. No estamos hablando de su empresa, estamos hablando de El Salvador. Name at least three products that belong to that line. What are some common characteristics the products share? And what characteristics of the line are attractive to customers? Entonces, si quiero que trabajen en computadora, si en caso no tienen, entonces, o no pueden ahorita accesar a una, it's okay, lo hacemos en papel. All right, but if you do, voy a hablar ahorita por los que sí tenemos. All right, I want you to do this in a presentation. Como que usted va a presentar algo, okay? And what are you going to do? You're going to... Uh, choose, you're going to organize a short presentation about the characteristics of a product line. Okay, ¿cuáles son las esas características de ese product line? Ya dijimos que a product line es uh, different products of the same brand, all right, that they differ. You have to at least three name products that belong to that line, all right? What are some com common characteristics and what characteristics of the line are attractive to customers? Por ejemplo, retomando lo del ido, ¿qué, ven, qué, qué, ¿qué es más atractivo para los, los consumidores o los clientes? El pastel ido, el pan de caja, eh, la semita, ya me dio hambre. All right, so when we talk about that, what is more attractive to customers and why? All right, entonces, we're going to go to the groups. Y si necesito que trabajen en computer, please, in case you have it, si no, Igual lo, lo, lo escriben en papel y toman foto y eso compartimos cuando regresemos. Necesito saber quién no puede, aparte de Claudita y Chamba y Oscar, porque va manejando, quién más no puede unirse a los grupos. Yo, teacher. Eh, yo, teacher. Ok, entonces, lo que, los que no pueden se quedan aquí, no se me vayan, quédense aquí eh, para... Que sus demás compañeros estén con alguien que pueda participar ahorita, ¿ok? Let's see, guys. So we are nine. Vamos a poner así. All right. Y vamos, nos vamos a ir. Si en caso usted, usted está solo o sola, regáleme un ratito para moverlo o mandarle a alguien más, ¿ok? Nos vamos trabajando en el ejercicio... Seis de la página trece. That's what I want you to work on, please. All right, let's go. No se ha abierto los grupos aún. Está lenta ahora. Teacher. Hola. 
quiere decir que vamos de un producto de, y de las características de la misma, de la misma compañía, digamos. Los mismos productos de la misma compañía. Ajá, así como el ejemplo que he delido, Domingo. Ah, ok.
quiso el chivo, pero también. Ya, yeah. no necesita Ajá. la tijerita, va. Solo la apertura. Y su chivo, y su chivo, carry. Así sería, va. Llevar yeah. carry. Hi, Rafael. Hello. 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 Excellent. ¿Cómo vamos? Nice. 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 <laughs> working. I'm working here. Excellent. Solo un segundo favor. Cuando ya hayan terminado, me escriben en el grupo de WhatsApp para no interrumpirlos. Ok, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We have we talk with with white chocolate. I ever white chocolate. Um, uh, and there is have... the black chocolate and almond. Okay, uh, that's it. Delicious. Hello, teacher. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Um, are you guys almost finished? Let's I can hear you, teacher. Are you almost finishing or? Uh -huh. um, we are. Uh, we, only, we, only, we only have the idea about the brand, about the product, about the different, uh, but we can do it in the computer okay. because I work in the, in the cell and Vanessa too. Okay, all right, no, no se preocupe. Uh, just let me know when you finish. Lo que no quiero es interrumpirles. All right. So, cuando terminen, escriben en el WhatsApp que ya terminaron en el grupo. Okay, got it. Okay, Thank perfect. You. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, guys. I believe most of you were able to finish. So let's just start talking about this. Uh, we're waiting for everybody else to come back. Just give me a second. All right, let's see. Um, group number one, it's Vicky and Walter. All right, I don't know if Vicky and Walter can, are you guys gonna share or you are just gonna talk about it? I am going to share. Excellent, thank you. So, can you see? Yes. Oh, all right, nice. Yeah, me dio hambre. <laughs> we are Bram Lai uh, is sweet bread or in Spanish pan dulce from the Tecleña. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> the, the three products for the front line are Semita de piña, chardines de piña, and pastelito de piña. Everything of pineapple, huh? Yeah. What are some common characteristics of product share? Vicky, can you hear, hear me? Okay. The three products are made best of wheat, wheat flour and high amount of sugar. Another common ingredient is pineapple. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What characteristics of the line are attractive to customers? Number one, the combination of flavor between acid and sweet. Okay. And number two, the texture is soft and inside and crusty outside. Mm -hmm. Number three, the three brick are Perfect combination with coffee in whatever time of meal. Oh, nice. All right. Very good. A ver, solo, yo creo que solo aquí hay, hay algo que podemos cambiar. The combination of flavor. <laughs> the combination of flavor between acid como ácido. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay, es sour. Porque ácido, así como lo han puesto, es ácido, pero el ácido químico. Ah. Uh, sour. Okay. Escribe S O U R, sour. S O U R. Yes, sour and sweet. Yes, okay. Okay. I okay. like that. Very nice. Very good. Yes. Okay. Fine. Excellent. I like that. Thank you, guys. Well done. Yay. All right. Let's see. Next group, it's number two. Daniel, Rafael, and Vanessa, Noemi. Vanessa, please share your screen. Sure, I don't have a problem with my computer, and I share with my, with my cell phone. We choose productos Diana. Diana product, okay. <laughs> and the products, this is uh, snacks, the cookies, and candy. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, the, the common characteristics of the, of the product is the size of products, easy to carry wherever you go, easy to open, to open and ready to eat, and you can eat the product or at any time you want. <laughs> yes. Okay, Rafa, continue, please. 
uh, can you compare the the, the next? Puede compartir la la anterior, creo, Vane. Mm, this one, the product price. The product price is appropriate to customers and the characteristic attractive to customers. Number two, the products have different tastes to all types of customers, and you can mix those products with lemon salt and hot sausage if you want. Okay. This is our presentation. Yeah, I like that. Thank you, Vane. Thank you, Rafael. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. That's fine. Excellent. Let's see. Next group, it would be. Ever and Carlita, Carla Vanessa. Okay, teacher. We can share the presentation, please. You cannot share it. No, no, we can no, share. Okay. Just, just let me, let, let, let me. Okay, that's let okay. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> I like that. Oh, no, Carlita share. Huh? Carlita share. Yeah. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. The first time the, the brand we choose is the Sarita's ice cream. Okay, nice. The three products that we choose uh, for the... Uh, the light product is the gigas. In the gigas, you can change, you can choose the different option that the, the, not the gigas a conventional, a gigas with black chocolate with almond, and gigas with the white chocolate. Both right. side and the a little one. Okay. And what are some common characteristics the product share? And uh, we put in the quality of the manufacturer because they use a natural food without preservatives in their products. Okay. And the last one, and um, the characters of the line are attracted to the customer is uh, the variety price mm -hmm. and the unit flavor. And the variety product line too that the customer can choose for the different options. And that's it. All right. Nice. All right. The, the, voy a terminar con mucha hambre today. <laughs> Thank you, Carla Vanessa. That was nice. All right. Let's see. We have here uh, Domingo, Kevin, and Bismar. Bismar. In the presentation, please. Thank you. Okay, Kevin. I don't know if you're talking about it. Oh, nice, the Constancia one. All right. No podía faltar. Very nice. <laughs> okay, oh. teacher. We okay. decided the Constancia and and the product line for us is can and drink. Okay. Okay. Um, this product has three types of can and drink and soda drink, a juice drink, and alcohol drink. Okay. Um, about the soda drink, it's a famous drink in our country and also in the world. And a lot of people prefer to drink Coca-Cola than another brand of soda. Okay. And about the juice drink, um, Del Valle. Okay. We, we decided Del Valle, he, I don't know, it's produce, produced in our country and many people have a good taste for it. And it has different flavors. Uh, for example, orange, uh, Guayaba and tangerine fruit. Okay. 
and alcohol drink. In our country, Regia is very famous and popular beer. Okay. You know what? <laughs> there are lots of brands of beers, but Salvadorian people prefer, always prefer to drink Regia or Pilsen. Mm -hmm. in, a, in fact, it's more expensive than another beer, for example, uh, Corona. Okay. And that wasn't our presentation. Hold on, leave it. And, and uh, the common characteristic of product line is the presentation in the can. And it is attractive for the customer because have AC open and the people can risk resupply can of drink. Okay. Yeah, can recycle, can drink, can drinks. Póngale la S ahí, Bismar. Creo que usted está, ¿verdad? Yeah. Y... Move the presentation, Bismar. Ah, okay, no. No, 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 no. It is attractive for the customers because it's, a ver, because it is easy to open. Cámbiale, Bismar, en esa, because it, después del because, it is easy to open. It is busy. It is easy to open, right? Yes, yes, yes. Easy is con Y, ahí correcto. Sí. Eh, con Y en lugar de Y latina. Ok. Sí. Easy to open. Yeah, exactly. Very good, guys. I like it. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. A ver, who else are we missing here? Okay, um, Anita and Trini. Good night, teacher. Uh, I'm gonna share my world, I okay. think. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Which is the same that the other group, uh, Diana, uh, we put the common characters and the characters of the line are attracted to the customer. Uh, I'm gonna start uh, me and then it's gonna pass. Utrini. Si. Sí. Our expert. Mm -hmm. uh, the common character characters in these three products and churritos, jalapenos, nachos is the variety are crunchy, spicy, a socket, and rake and back. Okay. Uh, Trini? Characteristic of the to the customer, mm -hmm. delicious, cheaper, slash, accessible. Acc accessible? And home delivery. Creo que se, se congeló Trini. Okay, that's okay. All right. Okay. Very good, Anna. Thank you. All right. So, yeah. I mean, within the products or the brands, we have different uh products all right that they are for example the same chips but of course different flavor and that is a product line just like the pan dulce from la tecleña right is el producto todo es pan dulce however you have different products within the same product all right so that's a product line very good and then la constancia and the other the other um Product lines that you guys presented. Thank you. That was very nice. I like that. The Sarita one. Excellent too, right? So yeah. Good job, guys. Thank you. I'm going to take attendance right now, and then we can continue with the rest of the topics that we need to keep on talking about. Just give me a second. Here I have my attendance, I think. Give me a second. All right. So here we have. Ab Abner Eli Fuentes Flores, Adela Trinidad González Consuegra, present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez, Daniel Antonio Luna, thank you, Claudita. 
Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Uh, Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Ok. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Ok. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Ay, Carlita. Que, uh, Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mejíbar Merino. I'm here yet. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Thank you, Mariano. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. I'm here. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Thank you, Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. Walter, Present, Miss. Thank you, Chamba. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Mayra, thank you. Mayra Roxana Hernández Flores. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. Present, teacher. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. And Ana Maria Palacios Araujo. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. All right, so let's continue here, guys, with the book. I just, hold on, give me a second. I need to change that page. Okay, so now let's go to page 14 on your books, okay, because we already finished that exercise that they were asking us about. We just finished this um, exercise right here. So now we're talking on page uh, 14 exercise one and the rest, all right? So I will be able to. Um, Bismar, can you please read this for me? Describe the application. Describe the application of each step of a SWOT. Uh -huh. Analyze when as assessing a new product idea. idea. Mm -hmm. Perform a SWOT analysis to the Determine the face faceability feasibility of, of a new product. Excellent, Bismar. Thank you. All right. And this is a key. We're talking about the SWOT analysis. All right. Now we're going to find out what that is, but let's do number one first. Vane, eh, Noemi, Vanessa Noemi. Let's start. What is? Continue, Vane, please. What is? Uh, SWOT anal analysis. Analysis. Do uh -huh. you know what step of the analysis each of the letters in SWOT represent? Have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? Okay, very good. Thank you, Vani. All right, guys. So here we have, we can say SWOT or we can say SWOT analysis. Do you know what that is? Do you guys have any idea what that is? This is the same of Oda in Spanish. In Spanish, <laughs> yes, it is. Very good, Daniel. So okay. the song is uh -huh. week opportunity and the C, I don't know. I don't uh -huh, know very nice. So S is for a strength. S is for a strength. W is for weaknesses. Weakness. O is for opportunity and T is for threat. All right. Ya lo vamos a ver en una presentación. Ya les voy a presentar ahí. All right. Let's go on with the conversation. A speech masters is planning to open a new branch. Mr. Rivas, the general manager, is meeting with a team to run a sort analysis on the new project. So here we have Mr. Rivas and we have Mario and we have Jose. All right, so let's see here. Rafael, can you be Mr. Rivas? Uh, Carla Vanessa, can you be Mario? And Roberto, yo lo veo a Roberto. Roberto, can you be Jose, please? Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, Mr. Rivas. Well, let's get started after conducting a sort analysis. We will know whether to go on our stuff with this project. 
Right. Let's describe the strength. That means the advantage we have our over our compet competitors. No se preocupe, lo vamos a ver. Competitors. Uh -huh. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. Who's Mr. That's, co uh -huh. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our stench, let's continue with our weakness. What are weakness about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might, might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You are right again. Mario, before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and street or danger outside. That could affect the company. Excellent, guys. Thank you. All right, let's see. Ever, can you please be Mr. Rivas? Um, let me see here. Anna, can you be Mario? And uh, let me see here. And uh, let's see, Danny, can you be, who's missing, Jose? Yes, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go or stop with this project. Right, let's describe the streaming. Strengths that means that advantage we have over all competitors. Competitors, I don't know how to spell that. Competitors, uh -huh. yeah, competitors. Yes. Mm -hmm. we, we offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customer PC agenda. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After this constant our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. Uh, what are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporation are competitive. This vintage, in our case, a weakness means the back lack of backing space for our customers. Jesus Christ, you're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and traits of danger outside that could affect the company. Very good, thank you. All right, let's see. Check, let's check this together, guys. Uh, Mr. Rivas says, well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right, let's describe the strengths. That means the advantages we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' BC agendas. Besides, sorry guys, besides we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You are right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. All right, so here they're talking about this SWOT analysis that as we already mentioned, we talk about strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, okay? Now, 
Do you have any questions about the vocabulary that we have here in this conversation? Any questions? No, we're fine. So, oh, so it's W O T. SWOT, SWOT analysis, uh-huh. It's a strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And uh, I want to know how, how is the means of parking space? Ah, parking space, Kevin, means that you don't have any space. If you have a car, you cannot park the car outside the company because there's no space. Oh. Mm -hmm. I am. Thank you. Weakness right. picture is debilidad. Sí, weakness is debilidad. Una weakness and weaknesses son the uh, um debilidades. Yes. In threats is uh, amenaza, verdad? Threats, sí. Threats is amenaza. Yes. Amenaza. yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. Teacher, and disadvantages. Dis disadvantages. Uh -huh. Yes, disadvantages son desventajas. Desventajas, okay. Ajá, y advantages a uh, ever son ventajas. Advantages son ventajas. Y and disadvantages sí. son, son desventajas. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Weather teacher. Yes, Trini. Yes, can, can you repeat? No, the, the vintage and vintage, I confuse. A ver, al, yo voy Trini, solo que no le escuché muy bien. Advantage, Salvador, o Chamba, es advantage, es ventaja. Y disadvantage, es desventaja. All right. Ok, this. Donde dice no weather. Donde dice Kevin, um, Trini, perdón. Mr. Rivas, where the teacher, uh, Trini se refiere a dice, we will know whether. Ah, to weather. Go home. Sí, 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 gracias, Daniel. <laughs> sorry, okay. Trini, okay. I'm sorry. All right. We will know whether. Vamos a saber, uh, vamos a saber o sabremos ya sea que esto funcione o no o si esto funciona o no. Whether es como saber eh, si sí o si no va a funcionar algo. Thank you, teacher. All right, very good. Okay, so here, guys, I'm going to share this with you right now. Hold on. Here we have this. We have the SWOT analysis. Ya sabemos que es el strength weakness, opportunity, and threats. Threats es amenaza, all right? Acuérdese la pronunciación, no es strange. Strange es algo raro, algo extraño. Es strength, con Z, strength, all right? Weaknesses, como que fuera week de semana, ¿verdad? O weakness es una debilidad, o weaknesses son many des, uh, be, uh, debilidades. O stands for opportunity, and T stands for threats, que serían amenazas, all right? Now, here we have the SWOT analysis, igual, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Ahora, strengths and opportunities, decimos que son helpful for the company, for the product, for whatever you're doing this analysis for. Harmful is dañino, okay? Entonces, ¿qué es dañino para el producto, para la empresa, o para la oficina, o para whatever you're doing? Tenemos weaknesses, que serían las debilidades, y las amenazas, all right? So that is a little harmful for the business or the product. Ahora, here we have eh, tanto las strengths como las weaknesses, all right? Son parte de, o oh, se origina por... Eh, se origina algo interno, all right? You can control it. You can control the strengths and you can control the weaknesses. Y las opportunities y threats van a depender del entorno, 
Y cuando decimos environment, no solo se, uh, quiere decir medio ambiente, sino que el entorno. Ok. So, external origin. Ellos parten de un origen externo. The opportunities and the threats. Ok. A ver. Tenemos aquí strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats about this company. All right. It says things your company does well. Cuando hablamos de las, los, las fortalezas, hablamos de lo que la compañía hace y hace bien. All right. So things your company does well. Qualities that separate you from your competitors. All right. Las cualidades que separan, lo separan a usted, a su empresa, el producto de la competencia. Internal resources, such as skilled, knowledgeable staff. Una eh, fortaleza es tener obviamente gente capacitada, gente que, sa que sepa lo que está haciendo. That's a strength. Tangible assets, algo que es tangible, que es, se puede ver, uh, such as intellectual property, capital, Uh, proprietary and technologies. All right. De eso se basa las strengths. What are weaknesses? Things your company lacks. All right. Entendemos la palabra lacks. Lo que no tiene. Carecer. Sí, lo, de lo Carencia. que carece. Exacto. De lo que carece su empresa o el producto o whatever. Things your competitors do better than you. Okay. Resources, limitations, and unclear, unique selling propositions. All right, so we have a weakness there. What are we, when we uh, talk about opportunities, what do we refer to? Undeserved markets for specific products. Underserved, sorry, underserved. Few competitors in your area. Eso podría ser una, una oportunidad. Emerging need for your product or service. Cuando algo está como en esa necesidad, cuando está saliendo esa necesidad, se dice, ah, ok, este producto, it's good because la gente, it's needing it. All right. Está surgiendo eso. Emerging need. Press media coverage of your company. All right. That's an opportunity. Then we okay. have, hola. Um, um explain again the first opportunity on this on the server what is the mean underserved cuando ya está como cuando usted tiene uno por ejemplo una oportunidad que usted dice ni sé ni cómo se dio underserved está ahí all right markets for specific products all right que ya ya como hay otros productos también ya están como establecidos de repente entra usted con su producto o en su empresa y es como que ya están for you Okay. All right. Okay, okay. And then you take yeah. advantage of it, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Then threats. Tenemos emerging competitors. De repente surgen, la competencia surge. All right. Si más se está viendo que ese producto está nice. So they kind of copy it. Changing reg uh, regulatory environment. All right. Cuando hay cosas cambiantes, ¿verdad? De repente hay una nueva ley o una nueva, un nuevo impuesto, no sé, uh, something. Negative press media coverage, that could be a threat. Changing customer attitudes toward your company. Entonces, aquí son como ejemplos of what is the strength or what do we talk about when we talk about strength? What do we mean when we talk about weaknesses? What do we mean when we talk about opportunities? And what do we mean when we talk about threats? All right? Okay. Now here is a company sort analysis, all right? Tenemos el ejemplo de esta empresa X, all right? So they have strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, okay? Veamos las strengths de acá. This is some same day delivery within the city. Estamos hablando de una empresa de eh, entregas de, ¿cómo se llama? De, Like the um, pedidos a domicilio. Sí, digamos de pedidos a domicilio, pero no precisamente de comida. All right. Ah, the okay, the, the mensajería. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Yes, exacto, Miss Mar. Thank you. Urban Core has under one hour delivery. 
expectancy, quiere decir que usted mandó a pedir algo y en cuestión de menos de una hora le va a llegar el producto. High quality foods, all right, en este caso se están hablando de comida, 200 drivers plus, o sea, tienen más, trusted and high product sales exposure. Weaknesses, costly, all right, es algo carito. No monthly subscription options, inaccessible to larger consumer audience, and poorly optimized SEO. Don't ask me what SEO means because I don't know. All right, opportunities, optimize current mobile app for res uh, responsiveness and built-in feedback, attract a large, wider target consumers audience, All right, et cetera. Y luego también tenemos una thread que podemos leer, can operate at a loss to drive away competition. All right, and then we have another one, costly state laws to oversee grocery delivery and accountability and the review or evaluation. All right, now, and I have this one too, y me pareció interesante. We talk about this brand, que todos lo conocemos. It's a hamburger brand. All right, so here we have a strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats about McDonald's, all right? So every company, guys, has a SWOT analysis. Si usted se fija, este es del 2013, ya hace casi que 10 años, all right? Probably they have changed it by now, all right? So here we have other examples of what SWOT analysis is. Okay, guys, any questions about this? No, no questions? No, teacher, all clear. Okay, let's go back to our book. Y vamos a ver esto aquí. Vamos a trabajar en... Hagamos esto ahorita juntos. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Les doy dos minutitos y empezamos a ver qué es number one, what is number two, what is number three, and number four. Okay. All right, guys, let's check number one. Who wants to read number one? Hey, teacher. Go ahead, Danny. Okay, strengths provide an analysis of the company's advantage over its competitors. Competitors, yes, very good, thank you. Okay, that's strength. 
All right, who wants to do number two? Who's doing number two? I think opportunities. Okay, can you read the whole thing? Yeah, consider areas in which the companies are at competi competitive disadvantage. Disadvantage, you think it's opportunity? Disadvantage. Are you sure? Mm. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure, but. Okay, all right, let's that see. That is decided. Okay, okay, that's that's fine, Kevin. Let's see. What about the rest of you guys? What do you think is number two? I think it's weaknesses. Weaknesses, weaknesses. weaknesses mm, yes. Weaknesses. Yeah, it's weaknesses. All right. Consider areas in which the companies are a competitive disadvantage. Very good. Thank you. Who's doing number three? Opportunities. Can you read everything else, Bismarck, please? Are a list of unexplored markets of business development. Yes, opportunities. And then the last one, it would be? Four. Three. 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 Threats. 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 Uh -huh. Explore the external environment that could affect the company, including Technology, I say, technology. Technological. Environmental and regulatory factor. Okay, environmental and regulatory factors. All right, very good, Domingo. Thank you. All right, so they were in order. Okay, now we are going to move on to this because this is the topic that we um, have to do the homework on. It says how to, how to reduce adverb clauses of time. Let's not worry too much about the name. Let's just worry a little bit more about how to use this, all right? Now, when we talk about adverb clauses, we're talking about words, all right? For example, before, uh, they're introduced before, after, since, and while can be reduced to modifying adverb phrases. Aquí tenemos un adverb clause, all right? Así empieza la oración y dice, after we conduct a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. A eso se le llama un adverb clause, all right? ¿Qué es un adverb phrase? Here. Decimos, after conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Vean la diferencia entre la 1A y la 1B. ¿Qué ven de diferente? ING. 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 Aparte de eso, ¿hay algo más? Eliminate the, the subject. Excellent, ING. Rafael. We eliminate the subject. Yes, it's gone. Bye-bye forever. All right. Ahora. Cuando hablamos, it's better to use the adverb phrase porque es más fluido, all right? Más que el otro, aunque no es que esté mal, all right? But the second one is better. Now, what do we do here? And that, this is exactly what just Rafael said. To reduce an adverb clause to a phrase, do the following. All right, vamos a hacer tres pasos. Number, oops. Number one, eliminate the subject in the adverb clause. Tal cual dijo Rafael, en la primera dice we, ese es el subject. Para convertirle en adverb phrase, eliminate the subject. Number two, if the clause has a form of the verb be, eliminate it. All right, De, quíteselo. In este caso, we don't have one, but that's fine. Y la número tres, if the clause has any other verb different from be, add ing. Esos son los pasos que tenemos que seguir. All right. Uno, quitar el sujeto o el pronombre. Dos, si en caso su oración tiene una, alguna forma del verbo be, quítesela. Y number three, ya sea 
que tenga otro verbo, entonces no lo quite, sino que póngale ing, tal cual ellos hicieron ahí. All right, now let's, re let's continue reading the next part. The reduction is only possible when the subject of the verb clause and the independent clause are the same. Vamos a ver lo que quieren decir acá. Before we make a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats that could affect the company. Pay attention to, to A. ¿Cuál es el sujeto en la parte que está subrayada? We. We. Excellent. We. we. Yes. ¿Cuál es el sujeto que está después de la coma? We. we. Ah, very nice. Entonces, es lo mismo que está diciendo la explicación. Solo podemos hacer esa reducción de pasar de una cláusula, una clause, a una frase si el sujeto es el mismo. All right. Si no es el mismo, we cannot do that. Ya vamos a ver el ejemplo. Let's do to be. Before making a decision, ahí ya lo convertimos en adverb phrase. We still need to go over the opportunities uh, and threats that could affect the company. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué logramos hacer el cambio? Porque en la, primera, en la primera oración nos dimos cuenta que estamos hablando del mismo pronombre o mismo sujeto. Por eso pudimos hacer esa reducción. Y la reducción es mínima, pero existe. Number three, before the new product, project gets a green light, we still need to beat the threats from outside. ¿De qué sujeto estamos hablando en la parte subrayada? The new product. Y the new product, exacto. Y the new product, ¿qué es? En sujeto, it. it. Muy bien. Y después de la coma, ¿qué tenemos? We. We. ¿Es el mismo it y we son igual? No. 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 Por lo tanto, no podemos hacer esa reducción. ¿Ok? Entonces, no podemos hacer before getting a green light. We still need to blah, blah, blah. You can't do that. Y dice bajo the subject in the adverb clause and in the independent clause are different. Uno es it, como dijo Kevin, y el otro es we, como dijo Kevin. All right. So, the reduction should not be done. ¿Ok? Gramaticalmente, Pero... eso no se puede. O no se debería de poder. Ajá, Admin. No, no, no. Ok. All right. Entonces. ¿Quién, qué, ¿quién me hizo esa línea <ríe> roja? A ver, no, no hay problema. A ver. Let's do this exercise. Tenemos un poquito de tiempo. Los voy a mandar a los grupos para que lo puedan resolver. Si no terminan, cuando yo los regrese, no hay problema. Lo vamos a ver. Eh, vamos a intentar revisar algunas y si no, revisamos todo mañana. ¿De acuerdo? I'm going to stop sharing. Igual, si usted todavía no puede participar, se queda por aquí y los demás sí se van a sus grupos. Let's go. A ver, Carlita, a ver, Carlita Michelle, ¿se quiere ir a un grupo o se va a quedar por acá? All right, me avisa. Eh, Leti, ¿ya puede participar, Leti? Sí, teacher, solamente que tengo una duda. En la tercera parte donde se explicó uh -huh. eh, que era, ¿cómo decirle? También voy a entrar al manual. Bueno, si gusta, en eh, lo que eh, mando a los demás compañeros, usted revisa ahí, oye. Ok. Jorgito, ¿se puede entrar? Sí, teacher. Ahora. Por... Ever, usted estaba en alguna sala ya, Ever. Con Carla Vanessa estaba, Ever. Ya, yeah, teacher. Okay. Eh, Roberto Bernabé ya puede participar. Oh, okay. uh, yes, teacher, yes. Okay, thank you. 
Vaya Roberto, a ver, eh, me falta Vanessa, usted sabe en un grupo, ¿verdad? El eh, dos. Ah. Sala dos. Lo voy a, la voy a mandar a la sala tres. No. Sí, está bien, vaya. Permítame. Cualquier cosa, no sé si Chamba puede, puede trabajar porque estás enfermo, pero si no, me avisa y la saco. Vale, oye. A ver, uh, Mariano José ya puede participar, Mariano. Todavía no, teacher, voy llegando a la casa. Ay, o sea, ya. me falta un poquitito ya casi. Vaya, vaya, no se preocupe. Ok, Leti, cuénteme. Ok, ahorita le comparto. Esta parte decía yo. Ay, ¿cómo era? ¿Qué página? Ya me, ya me confundí. La 13 era, eh, creo, 13 o 14, por ahí andamos. Ah, my. Me había adelantado. <risa> eh, esto, teacher. Este, ah, pues es la 14, la 14, la 14, Leti. Ajá. ¿Esta parte de acá? Sí. ¿Dónde dice el número 3? Ajá. No la entendí muy bien. Ok. Todo para... no la entendí de esa parte. Vaya, para lograr hacer esa reducción de pasar a una clause, a una phrase... Para poder hacer ese cambio, los dos sujetos en, la, en las dos partes de la oración tienen que referirse al mismo. Por ejemplo, mire aquí en la 2A, dice, before we make a decision, we, ¿verdad? Y después de la coma dice, we, uh, we still need. Es we en la primera parte y we en la segunda parte. En ese caso podemos hacer el cambio. Pero en la 3A, Dice, before the new product. Estamos hablando de it, de un producto. Y luego después de la coma dice we. Entonces el it y el we no son los mismos sujetos. Por lo tanto, no puedo hacer oh. ese cambio. Ok. Ajá. Entonces en la parte, la, para pasarlo a, a una verb phrase, tengo que borrar el before getting a green light. Lo que pasa es que en la 3A no lo va a poder hacer porque no, no aplica, porque tenemos dos sujetos diferentes, Leti. Ah, ok, ok, ok. O sea, por decirle algo, si dice before you y luego sigue, sigue, you no sé qué, ahí sí puede hacer el cambio, pero si en una dice you y en la otra dice he, no puede. Mm, definitivamente no se puede. Exacto, sí. ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahí sí ya no entendí. Ok, la voy a mandar a un grupo eh, LT, oye. Ok, gracias, Tiche. Bueno. Tiche, yo creo que no puede trabajar. No me contesto. No puede, ah, ok. Vale, ¿Tú sabes qué? Ahorita, eh, vale, la voy a mandar otra vez porque ¿Eh? ahí se fue Leti. Ah, vale. Es el, es el apartado 5, el SSL file. Sí. O cuál hay que sí, ver. Sí, lo voy, a, lo voy a mover dos veces. A la segunda vez se va por donde Leti. ¿Cómo? O sea, apriete ahorita. Ahora no, o oh, sí. Espérame, quiero ver. Dice sala 1. Y, y ahorita sala que está tres. Ver, ahí, ahí. Sala 3. A ver.
All right, guys, were you able to finish the exercise? All of them, teacher. Excuse me, Anita? Oh, teacher. Okay, that's fine. All right, so the idea is that we will check. We will, oh, I'm gonna check it with you tomorrow. We're, I'm gonna give you some time and then we can check it as well so we can um, understand it better. All right, and also I'm gonna give you some extra exercises referring and concerning this topic because it may not be like as easy as we thought. All right, so don't worry about it if you did not finish. Alguien logró terminar or nobody finished? No finish. Okay. No finish, teacher. Nobody, Nobody finish. Nobody. Oh, teacher, Complicated. I don't <laughs> Complicated? Okay, no se preocupen. Igual mañana cuando entremos, yes. vamos a repasar. Les voy a, dar, les voy a compartir una presentación para reforzar el tema. Luego volvemos a irnos a los grupos para ver si lo entendemos mejor. Revisamos okay. y luego igual es así nomás ejercicios. All right. Voy a tomar la última asistencia para que se puedan ir a descansar. Eh, Danielito, hoy le toca a usted, Daniel. Quedarse un ratitito. Ok, teacher. No puedo. All right. Thank you. Abner Eli Fuentes Flores, Adela Trinidad González Consuegra, Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Thank you, Claudita. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. José, ay, Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Sorry, Jorgito. <laughs> José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Mariano José Baca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. I'm here, miss. Thank you. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Mayra Roxana Hernández Flores. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises, here, thank you. Bismar, uh, Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. And Ana Maria Palacios Araujo. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you all tomorrow. Solo Daniel se queda un ratito. Bye, guys. Have a good okay. night. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye Jorito. <laughs>
don't like to me. Oh, because, really? Yes, because I, 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 I work as a, an accountable. An accountant. An accountant. Yes, is uh, every every month is the same the same how to say the same. La misma tarea, ¿cómo se llama? The same tasks. The same, the same task, yes. Uh -huh. eso, eso me, me, tiene, me stress to me. <laughs> yeah, cualquiera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, in, in this job, it's, it's different because every day is different. Mm -hmm. It's in like to me. Eso es lo que me gusta. <laughs> yeah, so this job, um, Dani, it has nothing to do with what you studied. Yes, yes, same. Uh, same. Yes, study for God, yo, I no, I don't, no, no, hay, no, hay traba, no, hay estudio para ese trabajo. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's, it's only about the experience. Right. Yes. Yes, yes it's only about the experience. Uh -huh. it is like, it's, it, this is like, to me, about this, yo. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's nice that they gave you the opportunity, Daniel. Yes, this is, this is the... Uh, how say this is the the opportunities uh como pudiera decir this is una de las de no eso es algo bueno en la compañía que da is is the uh, the company offers opportunity to to all people mm -hmm. That's very nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, not, nice. I mean, not every company, Daniel, not all mm -hmm. of the companies do that. No, no, no. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great, Danny. That's that's super. All right. Very nice. Danny, do you have any questions about what we have studied so far? Especialmente el tema de ahora. <laughs> ah, el tema de ahora. Es, es, sí, está bueno. Eh, eh, de hecho, en el, En lo que es el, el, el análisis de las oportunidades y todo eso, sí ya lo he estudiado porque lo estudié en la universidad. Claro. Pero ya es este último de las, de la, el último tema que estuvimos viendo, si lo veo un poquito complicado, de eliminar el, eliminar el sujeto, el que es Sí, uh -huh. all right. Pero creo que mañana, tomorrow. Sí, de hecho, we... mañana eh, vamos, no, eh, les voy a compartir. Claro. Exacto, les voy a compartir una presentación donde se explique mejor o más extenso, ¿verdad? Para, uh -huh. para poder entenderlo de mejor forma, right? That's the whole uh -huh. idea. Exactly. Very good, Danny. Okay. Uh -huh. Very nice. Okay, Danny, I'm going to let you go so you can rest. Thank you so okay, much for being in class every day. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you to you. Thank you, Danny. Bye. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye now.